Chapter 14, The Effortless Way. The principle of least action governs everything in physics from the path of a planet to the path of a pulse of light. Least action is the minimum of energy multiplied by the minimum of time. Therefore, in moving from your present state to the state desired, you must use the minimum of energy and take the shortest possible time. Your journey from one state of consciousness to another is a psychological one. So, to make the journey, you must employ the psychological equivalent of least action, and the psychological equivalent is mere assumption. The day you fully realize the power of assumption, you discover that it works in complete conformity with this principle. It works by means of attention minus effort. Thus, with least action, through an assumption, you hurry without haste and reach your goal without effort. Because creation is finished, what you desire already exists. It is excluded from view because you can only see only the contents of your own consciousness. It is the function of an assumption to call back the excluded view and restore full vision. It is not the world, but your assumptions that change. An assumption brings the invisible into sight. It is nothing more nor less than seeing with the eye of God, i.e. imagination. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. The heart is the primary organ of sense, hence the first cause of experience. When you look on the heart, you are looking at your assumptions. Assumptions determine your experience. Watch your assumption with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Assumptions have the power of objective realization. Every event in the visible world is the result of an assumption or idea in the unseen world. The present moment is all important, for it is only in the present moment that our assumptions can be controlled. The future must become the present in your mind if you would wisely operate the law of assumption. The future becomes the present when you imagine that you already are what you will be when your assumption is fulfilled. Be still, which is least action, and know that you are that which you desire to be. The end of longing should be being. Translate your dream into being. Perpetual construction of future states without the consciousness of already being them, that is, picturing your desire without actually assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled, is the fallacy and mirage of mankind. It is simply futile daydreaming. Now, a lot of you might confuse this and think that it's a fantasy or, you know, just wishful thinking. No, the whole point, because as I said before, creation is already finished. Your job, your only job, is to simply assume it, assume the end, assume the result, assume the fulfilled experience, the desire, the wanting should be done after that. You shouldn't be wanting if you feel fulfilled already. You shouldn't be wanting if you believe that your desire is done, being that creation is already finished. There shouldn't be, oh, but you know, it still hasn't come. Well, it's because you're still not looking at it. You're still not believing in yourself. You're not believing that you already have your desire. If your wish is fulfilled, you know, like let's say you, you wanted a particular car. You know, you wanted that uh, Mercedes or that Ferrari and that was your dream car. But you're looking at your bank balance. You're looking at your job. You're looking at your you know, your environment, your friends, your life, and you're comparing it to the desired car, the desired thing that you want. And you're saying to yourself, well, I can't afford it from here. That's why you're not going to get it. That's why you don't have it. Now you're thinking, okay, well, maybe I need to have a, a better job or, you know, maybe I need to win the lottery or make millions of dollars in order to have what I want. No. The idea is, by using minimum effort, little energy, taking the shortest possible time, you assume the feeling in this moment, in this present moment, as if you already would if you had had it. So if you believe that, you know what, I'm going to be happy when I get these certain things, or if I be a certain person or go to a certain place, be happy now. Don't be happy later because then you're going to keep postponing your goods. You be happy now in the present moment. You imagine what it feels like to drive that red Ferrari to smell that new car smell as you're driving it. Picture the steering wheel. I mean, go to a dealership if you want, if they even allow you, but go to a dealership, test drive it, or imagine what that feels like. Get behind the wheel, smell it. Don't even worry about your circumstances. 
Don't worry about how much money you got. Don't worry about, oh, but I can't afford it. We're not talking about that. The universe or God doesn't even care about that. Your main thing is, what do you want? You want the red Ferrari? Okay. Then sit in it, be in it, feel it. When you're being in that, when you're when you're visualizing it and you're being in that image, you can't be wanting anymore. You can't be longing for it anymore because now you're believing and feeling that the the reality of it. And the reality is, is that you're in the car. You're driving the car. You have your girl, you have your man, you have your your friends, you have whatever in the car with you. You test drove it, you know what it feels like, you know what it's like to be behind it. Now you feel the reality of it in the present moment. That's how you use the least amount of effort, the least amount of energy. Because you're not stressing about it, you're not working hard for it, you're not trying to go out there and look for another job or try to, you know, find a a, a corporate office that you can make, you know, a hundred thousand dollars a year or something. You're not doing any of that. It says the least action governs everything in physics from the path of a planet to the path of a pulse of light, which is the minimum of energy multiplied by the minimum of time. So, once again, all you have to do is be still and in this moment know that you are whatever it is that you desire to be. The end of wanting and longing, as they've said before, is by being. You can't say, oh, well, you know, I still haven't seen the car and I want the car. No, because you are supposed to be being in the car. You're supposed to be being in that reality. What you're doing is you're constantly comparing your current circumstance to your desire. It's not a match. You have to match up and align with the desire that you want. No one said anything about your job. No one said anything about your bank balance. No one said anything about your circumstances or your environment or the place that you're living or the person that you're with. No one said anything about any of those things. All you have to do is be in the car. Choose what you want and be it. Don't worry about the how. That'll all come afterwards. Worry about being in the now. Being what you want. Because then you can't want it. You can't desire it because technically you're being it. So that was chapter 14, The Effortless Way. um, From the book, The Power of Awareness by Neville Goddard. So you guys can go ahead and check it out if you have the book. I do encourage you guys to really get the book because you guys will love it. You guys will be able to learn a lot more. Um, There is more content coming along the way. I will be posting more of these videos. So go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like to. And in the comment section below, I want to know how this has been helping you guys, what you guys have been manifesting, or if there was something else that you guys wanted me to post, um, I can do that as well. Just let me know in the comment section below and hit the notification bell so that you can stay alert when I do post more of these videos, because I will try to get these out on a daily basis. And um, I'll catch you guys next time. 